There he is, one more time, one more time, no, no, one more time, one more time, come on. Oh my goodness. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode. We are down at the lake. You can see what's going on underneath the kayak, and we're gonna do some underwater fishing 2.0, or is it 3.0? We've done a, a few of these videos before. Either way, the plan is we're just gonna fish for whatever bites, panfish, trout, you're gonna see it down there. I'm gonna fish from above here, so you're gonna get a live aqua view of what's going on underneath us. It's also just been way too long since we've had a video, so. I'm glad that we're back out again. There's been a lot going on. We'll talk about it, but let's just get right into it. Get a worm underneath the bobber and send that baby down in the water and let you guys watch. Maybe we can see some fish come up to it. That'd be absolutely awesome. And I'm really hungry, so we're gonna cook up whatever we catch today. I've got the cooking gear with me. We might cook them up out here on the kayak. Maybe we'll go in the woods, forage some wild mushrooms. That might be nice as well. But let's, I'm just so excited. Let's go, let's go. Got these little volunteers that came uh, with me from my house. So I think he wants to be on YouTube. We're just gonna throw him on the hook. And the way I like to do that is just kind of slide him, slide him all the way up the hook so that they're completely hiding that hook. And then we can have a little, just a little tail end on each side. And that's a nice natural presentation of this worm. And then we're just gonna give this a little cast right there. Oh, that was a terrible cast right into a bush. All right, let's give this a little cast right in there. Ooh, there we go, there we go, a little, little too far. I hope that you guys can see that worm slowly sinking down into those weeds. I have no idea if there are any fish. I can just barely see under the surface. I don't know, tell me, do you see any fish down there? It might be a little bit early still in the season for panfish and stuff to be in the shallows here, but I thought why not just give it a little bit of a shot before we move on to the hungry trout patrolling this lake. Oh man, I think I just cast right on that branch there. I'm not sure, it's always a little hard to tell from up here. Am I, am I snagged on that branch? Oh, I just broke a branch. I'm sorry, little branch. Go rest, swim in peace. Now with summer finally being almost here, uh, <laughs> we're finally back at the lake fishing. This is just a local lake in my area uh, that just opened up this weekend. Most of the places in my area are actually closed to fishing over the winter. That's why it's a little harder for me to make these videos over the winter. It's been a while since we had a video and everything. So we're probably gonna be fishing a few local spots as well as the Puget Sound until the mountains thaw up, which is where I really wanna get back with you guys, just back up into the high alpine areas to do the backpacking and fishing up there. But unfortunately right now, they're still completely snowed in. I see a lot of comments from you guys asking, when will the mountain videos come back? And that won't happen really until late May, maybe early June. So give it another month or so, and then we will start going on the first adventures back up into the Alpines. And we still don't have any bobber downs. I'm still waiting for this thing to go down. You guys can probably see more what's happening down there right now. Do you see any fish? Any, any takers? No? Okay, I think uh, since you guys have been monitoring the underwater situation now for a while and we still haven't caught anything and I'm sure you still have not seen any fish. If you have, wow, then I'd feel kind of stupid leaving right now. But we're gonna move on because me up here not knowing what's going on down there is getting impatient. We're gonna move on to another spot. I am seeing a lot of trout surface out there too. Maybe we can catch one of those. But let's go get the aqua view camera set up somewhere else and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a big one. I think we're gonna get a big one today. Let's try our luck somewhere else. There, I think this little cove here might be good to anchor up and uh, toss out that worm again and maybe get a trout. This is a slightly deeper spot right here. So the trout like the deeper water. Let's see what happens. 
you guys can see I'm a little further back. What I want to do is give those trout some space. They can be a little spooky sometimes. So I'm way over here. You guys are there looking at what's going on below the surface. I've got a big old night crawler that we're going to throw on the hook. Found this guy in the yard as well. He's one of the, the trophy worms. Just slide that worm all the way up. All right, let's get a nice cast right there. Oh man, you should be able to see exactly what's going on underneath there. Man, hopefully a big old hungry trout comes in and takes that one. A little bit of wind pushing the bobber away from you guys, so we'll probably just kind of keep recasting. Let's get that worm right back in front of you guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now that was right in the juice zone right there. You can see that baby sinking down. There we go. That was a juicy cast right in front of you. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a hungry trout right down there. That was a juicy one. Not seeing any action right now either. Maybe an hour ago I saw a bunch of trout surfacing, but they all came up at once. And now they all stopped. So they're kind of, it's like a, a hive mind. And right now the, the hive mind says to stay low. Oh, man, look at that. There's a bald eagle flying, flying around up there. That's what a bald eagle sounds like, by the way. He's calling right there, maybe for a mate. Maybe for a buddy, or maybe he's complaining that there's no fish as well. Curious if there's like anything just right here. Make a little cast right there. Don't have a camera down there, but it's so clear that I can see perfectly here. Ah, just a little further in there. Right there. Come on. Let's just get one bobber down. Just a bobber down, just to warm things up. Oh, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. Oh, there is, oh, oh my goodness. Didn't hook up. It didn't hook up, but we had a bobber down. Oh my, oh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. We had a bobber down. Whew, it took the worm too. All right, stole the worm. Stole the worm. That's that's a good thing. No, it's not a good thing. I don't know why I just said that. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, disaster. Disaster. There's dirt everywhere all over the kayak. I want a big juicy one. Here we go, this guy right here. I'm not sure what kind of fish that was. Uh, I'm sure you know by now what it was if you saw it down there. My guess is the way it behaved, the way it sucked that bobber down, I'm guessing a trout. I'm hoping it's a trout. How you doing? What's up? Yeah. What's that? Yeah, How you doing? How you doing? Life? <laughs> I'm good, how are you guys? That's good. That's good. You guys catch anything? Oh, nice. Nice. Congrats. I've never caught one here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Take care, guys. It's <laughs> awesome. Ran into a couple of you guys up there. Thanks for saying hi. Looks like you guys caught a nice trout today. This is my local, local lake here, so it's always fun running into some fans. And um, always, always appreciate you guys saying hello. But now we got to catch something. They've already caught something. We, we have not. So what? Oh, the bar is out. Bar is out. Oh, so down. Oh my goodness. We blew it. We blew it. That was a trout. That was definitely a trout that <laughs> just sucked down the bobber right there and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh my. There you go. Gave the worm a kiss for good luck. Let's do this. Oh, right there in front of the camera. Right there. Come on. Now let's get a takedown. Oh, there's, there's down. That's a fish on, baby. 
Yes! Oh my goodness, that's a good trout. Good trout. Come here. Come here. Who why? I pushed off of shore there. I don't know why. Oh, net. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Oh, thank you for biting, little buddy. Look at him down there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get stuck on anything. Don't get stuck on anything. Come here. Come here. <laughs> we got him in the net. Let's go. <laughs> we got him. We got the first one of the day. This is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's a good size, too. He's a really good size. Beautiful eater size. Uh, rainbow trout. We're just going to put him out of his misery right away. I just want to make sure he's not suffering. Oh, my God. Oh, don't fall out. There we go. Just made sure to put him to sleep. First things. Now we can check out this beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout right here. Absolutely gorgeous little guy. You just couldn't resist the bobber and the worm. Perfect eater size too. Look at that. All right. Oh, my knife is still in the, wow, wow. Sorry, baby, I almost lost my knife there. That's pretty crazy, actually. definitely do more of those underwater shots in future episodes so again let me know in the comments if you want to see more underwater stuff like that it's just I need full sunlight in order to film it so we're back to just regular fishing we gotta try and let's try and catch at least one or two more trout and uh, while the bite is hot I'm seeing him jumping here everywhere and then let's find a nice spot where we can cook him up right around here is where I saw a jumper how about we just cast it right there right there let that baby sink now what i want you to do oh keep an eye on the bobber bobber down bobber down bobber down bobber down there he is one more time one more time no no one more time one more time come on take it down take it down keep an eye on the bobber keep your eye on the bobber now all right come on should we set the hook on the next next bobber down it might be a small one just playing with it Maybe if we give the worm just a little jiggle. And sometimes the trout like that, they like the drop of the worm. Oh my goodness, one just jumped right there behind me. Oh, there it is again, there it is. Far down, there's a fish on, baby. <laughs> yes, there he is. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, oh, we need the net. Here's the net, here's the net. Come on, baby. All right. <laughs> oh, he's kind of a little guy. He's kind of a little guy. Let's see if we can maybe let him go. We're gonna wet our hand a little before we touch a fish that we're gonna release. Let's see, if he, if he didn't swallow the hook, we're gonna release him. There we go, hook popped right out. All right, there he is. And let's let this guy swim free. And he's off. Goodbye, we'll see you another time. Nice. Yep, not surprised at all. That was kind of a small one. I bet he was just kind of playing with it down there the whole time. So we still have a little bit of worm left on here. It's kind of a ridiculously small piece of worm, but let's see if we can get a double out of this worm. There we go. We gotta, gotta up our odds here a little bit. There you go, Mr. Trout. And we are going to cast him right about there. Should be the magic spot. 
Ooh, we are floating right into that bobber. Let's see how shy those trout are. Maybe they'll be fine with us being right next to the bobber here. Shoba. Right there. I would really keep my eye on the bobber if I were you. I'm watching. Let's watch together as it goes down. Oh, oh, did it just go down? I, I, I wasn't watching for a second. Did it go down? Did it just go down? There's a fish on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh man, I was like looking, I was looking at something else. Typical distraction, but that's when they bite. That's when they bite. So, oh, there's another one jumping. Oh, oh, we got a fighter. We got a fighter. Oh, oh. He's pulling a little drag. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we gotta take this one here serious. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. This is this is the second eater right there. Where's the net? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, buddy. Easy, 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 easy. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, he's, he's going under the boat. Under the boat. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Oh, he inhaled that worm. Absolutely inhaled it. There we go. Fish number two. We just put that little guy to sleep right away so he's no longer suffering. Thank you, buddy, for providing us with a delicious meal. So let's go ahead and uh, get back in, find a little spot where we can cook these guys up. Maybe we'll find some wild mushrooms or something like that too. Don't really know, but man, beautiful day out on the lake. Can't complain, don't need a limit. Caught three fish, released one, kept two beauties. So let's go eat these guys. Doesn't get a whole lot better than this. What a day on the water. As you guys can see, we are in, in an urban park. <laughs> Honestly, this was a ton of fun and uh, easy for anyone to get out here. I wanna explore a little bit together. Let's find like a cool spot. All right, we're in the woods. We got our fish with us. We got our cooking gear. Now we just gotta find a little spot where we can cook them up together. I hear a little creek over here that we can check out. What I'm just doing right now is I'm actually looking for a few mushrooms. Maybe we could just, if we get lucky, if we get lucky, it might be a little early for what I'm looking for. <laughs> the woods are thick. Out here, right here, all of this dead wood. This is a great spot, potentially, for wild mushrooms to grow. Any mushrooms home? <laughs> Maybe not today. Maybe not today. I was hoping that, uh... oh man, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Look at this. Got closer and saw these guys down here, look at that. These are oyster mushrooms. Look at all of these guys here. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like they've been growing for a while. Some have already gone bad, but these guys here are still good. So we're gonna harvest them. Ah, little, little baby oyster. There's another one right here. Ah, this one's already started kind of sporing off a little bit. Oh yeah, this one here. That one still looks really good. I'm happy about that. Oh, they just have a super nutty aroma. Oh man. All right, we'll lay them on the fish. <laughs> there we go. We got our, uh, our wild haul. Let's find a spot where we can cook them. 
we found some mushrooms. Oh yeah, that is so freaking cool. Man. So cool that we got some wild mushrooms as well. Oh, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful oyster mushrooms. They're beautiful. Man, look, there's just a whole colony of these beautiful oysters growing. Wild mushrooms will keep definitely a few days uh, if you store them properly in the fridge. So what I'll probably just do is pick these guys here as well, take them home, and then we'll have a beautiful feast all week. Wow, what a perfect specimen. Absolutely beautiful. Jeez, look at that. One more. All right, not gonna be greedy. Grab this guy here, and we'll let the, uh, the rest live there. No, one more, one more, one more, one more. Just this guy here looks perfect too. But these guys, the big ones, we're gonna leave these guys here. Uh, because they already started to spore off a little bit and stuff and that way they can keep keep this colony going maybe what i'll do is a little later in the season i'll stop by there again to see if i can harvest some more beautiful oyster mushrooms from this area this is awesome all right let's cook these babies up i think we found the spot brought with us just the gas cooker Also, first things first, I didn't bring any water with me on this trip, but I do have a water filter. Just squeeze it out like that. Oh, wow, perfectly fresh, nice and cool. Cleaning a trout, really, really easy. All we gotta do is uh, pull out a knife that's sharper than mine. Just start a little cut right back there by the butthole. Go all the way, all the way up right there. Then what we're gonna do is just make a cut right here, there, underneath the tongue. And here's, here's the magic. Now you just pull at the gills and all the guts come out like that. And then we can just feed that to the river. All the little crawdads can eat that and whatever's left will get eaten by the coyotes and the, the raccoons. Oh my goodness, look, the, the meat's a little bit orange. I'm excited now. Then this back here, that dark line, just score that real quick with your knife. That All that is is the fish's kidneys. Give that a little bit of a push with your thumb and we have a perfectly cleaned trout. Give the head, oh man, this knife needs sharpening badly. <laughs> there we go, we can give the head to nature as well. Another clean trout. We got our cooker and then a few ingredients. Oh, oh, with authority. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that feels good. It's still a little chilly out. Just a little bit of butter. Just about that much right there. I'm gonna throw that butter right into that pan. Just a shot of olive oil. Now on top of that fish, we are going to add a little bit of some Danish sea salt. That's really the main ingredient of this dish. Don't have to be shy either. We're, we've been sweating a bit today. Here, look at this. Oh, perfection. And if you guys are wondering where the videos have been at, I really apologize for not having them out here uh, as much as I wanted to this winter. Uh, a couple months ago, I actually got into a car wreck about three, four weeks ago, found out that uh, my car 
was totaled. No, it's not the yellow van. The yellow van is still alive. I updated you guys a bit about the whole thing on Instagram, but I had to go through the process of buying a new car, and that's never fun. Ended up with a beautiful blue truck. I'm gonna need um, a pickup truck anyways for things out of the property. So that just kind of ended up making the most sense. And after that, just took a couple weeks off and uh, spent some time at home with the dogs, uh, just relaxing. And uh, the dogs are doing good. They both say hello to you. They didn't come out on this one here just because it's like really hard to take them out of the kayak. I don't know exactly how I would do that. Maybe Tika, she could fit on the kayak. That is always the best way to tell if a trout is done is if the meat just falls clean off. Mm. Oh, wow. Now we will just fry up these wild mushrooms in that butter. We also have with us an onion. Quarter after eight and it's still light out. What a treat. Absolutely golden brown in there. That's looking really, really good. We've got uh, some beautiful organic flour tortillas. We're gonna throw one right on top just to steam the tortilla and everything underneath. A little bit of cheese up on top. We do have an avocado with us. We're gonna take our trout. Oh. oh man, just to get this tortilla off of my hand, that was super hot. Mushrooms and onion, absolutely perfect in there. From the lake and the woods into this tortilla. Cheers to all of you guys for watching all the way to the end here. Wow, the wild oyster mushrooms, they wow. Here, there's just an oyster mushroom. Mm. Super nutty. I mean, absolutely, a, just a pleasant, nutty, earthy flavor. Mm. It has been way too long since we have made a delicious trout wrap. Super beautiful right now. There's just birds kind of singing around. Sun has set, it's getting dark. Oh man. All right, that's all I got for you guys on this episode. So remember to drop a like on the video, it helps a ton. Drop a comment, I love reading them. Subscribe if you're brand new. And we will see all of you guys very soon for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it, fish on, baby. Oh no! <laughs>